Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I really do. I hope you're doing fine today. It's time again for another knife of the day. This is the series where I go through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. Today, it's the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21. It is a Blade HQ exclusive. It's the carbon fiber inlaid version of the Chris Reeve knives and I really really like this series of knives they sell out quickly on Blade HQ I've been lucky enough to get the um, large Sabenza 21 that you're looking at right now the Sabenza 25 the Nkosi which they limited to just 10 of them and I got number 10 so knock wood I was lucky to get that and also the Sabenza, the small Sabenza 21. I really like it. You know, I got comments. I'm way behind on responding to comments, and I really uh, apologize. Someone told me, you know, you'd get more followers if you were more interactive, and I know. I know. I just, ah, work sometimes overtakes me, and I wouldn't be on YouTube if I didn't have the job to buy the knives. So sometimes I have to choose. But I do read your comments as soon as you leave them. <laughs> I see them pop up uh, and I really love them. I will get to them. I sit down and get through all of them. I will get to them. I apologize. But someone, I think the last time I did a Chris Reeve knife said, you know, these are boring. They don't have that much variety. And I get what they're talking about. When you look at Spydecos, they're all different shapes, sizes, different steels, different everything, right? <laughs> some of them are limited, some of them aren't. This is a limited edition because it's a Blade HQ exclusive. But yes, Chris Reeve now is using S35VN steel, hollow ground, clip point blade. They're so solid, but let me just say this. There are a lot of Chris Reeve knives variations that I don't have, but I have 56 Chris Reeve knives and none of them are the same. They are subtle variations. For instance, this is a carbon fiber inlay. That's different than plain Jane or just the carbon fiber exclusive from um, knifeart.com. But I understand what you're saying. Um, when I do the Chris Reeve knives, they have the smallest amount of likes, etc. Um, but I have to say, first, they're just great knives. And I collect them and I love them. So that's what really this channel is about. Second, I just want to get my entire collection out there in front of you guys. I'm trying to alternate. So you've been seeing all kinds of different knives. And then we sprinkle in the Chris Reeve collection. Uh, I love these knives and I want each and every one of them on video. So that's kind of really why I do these videos. I'm happy that you guys are along. You make me very happy, and that's why I get up every morning to do them. But we're going to go through the Chris Reeve knives. If you're a big fan of Chris Reeve knives, uh, let me know. Also, when you look, say the playlist, the Knife of the Day playlist, which has, I don't know, over 300 and something knives in it. You can search that playlist. I do it every morning to remember which knives I've done and which ones I haven't. <laughs> so you can check out the knives on that playlist. Okay, I rambled for a long time. Um, the blade is 3.6 inches. Like I said, it's a clip point hollow blade. The entire knife of the large Sabenza 21 is 8.3 inches. And it weighs 4.7 ounces, but man, it's so well built. It, the, the weight is distributed so well. It balances nice. Everything about the Chris Reeve experience, I personally love. Uh, I'll tell you, you get it. It's one of the best package knives. I have bought a custom knife for over $2,500, and it comes in a little case that's worth, you know, 10 cents. <laughs> Every single Chris, Chris Reeve knife comes with the tool for the pivot, grease, and a nice cloth, a birth card to tell you the date, the time, the materials, everything. 
Um, it is such a nice package uh, that every time I buy a new Chris Reeve knife, I'm happy when it arrives. The expectations are there and he meets them, especially when you have a special one. Carbon fiber on top of polished titanium and all of Chris Reeve's inlaid knives, two on the show side, one on the back, polished titanium, and I love how they leave the clip and the Chris Reeve integral frame lock, plain Jane. I just think that how those play against each other is wonderful. It's like this zone, that's the work. Oh, I really like it. It has the blue accents. And that, my friends, is the knife of the day. Yeah, it's the Chris Reeve Large Submenza 21. It's Blade HQ's exclusive carbon fiber inlay of vision. You can only get them from Blade HQ or on the secondary market. It is so beautiful, so nice. And of course, you get all of the Chris Reeve craftsmanship, the uh, tolerances and everything else. I thought I'd put it together uh, side by side by the titanium Spydeco Endura so you can get a feel for the size and the carbon fiber <laughs> paramilitary two from Spydeco. Get it? Carbon fiber, titanium. There you have it. That's the knife of the day. If you're enjoying this series, don't forget to thumb it up. And please, all of your comments are so wonderful for each of the knives. I think it just adds. I never said I was ex expert at knives. I'm not. I just like them. I admit it. Um, but, man, I love all of your comments. You add something to the videos that make them alive. Even people who say, hey, they all look alike. That adds to it because they do. You know, same blade, steel, same kind of profile. I get it. It's those nuances that, that um, change from the variations. But I do understand it. That adds to the video. So thank you for all your comments. Thank you for listening to me and watching the videos. Um, I hope you have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Goodbye.